Hi Scorpio, welcome to your bonus read for the week. I'm gonna be taking a look at the person on your mind and what they're hiding from you. I'm going to pull three cards to start, clarify each card to give us some more insight. At the end of your reading, I'm going to pull three messages plus one bonus message from this person. And these are going to be things that um, they're holding back from telling you. And they might be things that you wanna hear, things you might not wanna hear, and answers to questions you possibly have. We will get that at the end. This is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read. Now, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. The person on Scorpio's mind, show me what they're hiding from Scorpio. So this person really wants a um, chance with you to, it feels like a new chance. It feels like a second chance here. Uh, maybe they're just making a judgment call on a decision where you might have said something like, I want to see where things go between the two of us and you've been waiting to find out if that's how they feel. Um, we do have the judgment card, the ace of pentacles and the star. So they see hope in this beginning and commitment and focus on it. You know, it's it's like a vision they're holding that they don't want to let go, that they feel you two want the same thing. The Hierophant, you know, we both believe in the same thing. Like, I want to only be with you and see where things go. And, you know, maybe you two just want to keep this monogamous. This is not an open relationship type of deal here. This is more of a like a second chance or an awakening or um, like a rebirth, a resurrection of a beginning here and to heal some things um possibly even for some of you because if it's a second chance in that way it tells me that you two might have also had um for some of you had a situation where you two need to heal um some things between each other and rebuild trust but um they do understand that if you give them a chance it's going to take some time and you know, you two have to focus on what you both want, but they feel like, you know, this is a lesson learned or, you know, you're their soulmate. This is some kind of spiritual lesson that they're learning, um, that there's more to this connection. There's more to this relationship than maybe what they uh, thought. So I do have a Scorpio, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, and uh, more Taurus energy that comes out so far. We're going to go ahead and clarify this judgment card. So the judgment card is clarified by the three of wands and at the bottom of the deck is going to be the three of pentacles here. And I do see that with that judgment card where they are feeling um, like they want to bring something back to life or um, feeling different about the situation where maybe they weren't going to give you an answer at first or they weren't sure how they felt, but the, they needed time to think about things. We're going to go with um, the first story that comes out, which is um, those of you that are waiting on an answer from this person where you presented um, a beginning of something that could grow. You just don't know where it's going to go, but you know, do you see something you know, going from where you two are at? And that's the question you ask them. Like, do you see yourself dating me or, you know, seeing where this thing's go, this thing goes between the two of us. And, um, the judgment card coming out like this is like an eye opening experience of like, yes, because, um, the three of wands comes out as clarification, which is progress here. And adding one more wand would make it would make a stable foundation. So they already had the plan of saying, you know, yes, or, or knowing what they wanted here and structurizing what they want here. Um, the three of wands is progressing towards, um, you know, what's coming in for them or what's, you know, like their ships coming in on something that's really 
um, what they're passionate about, what they want here that you want, and they've been waiting for this opportunity here um, for uh, a relationship or to have somebody who wants a partnership. Um, because the Three of Pentacles is also about recognition in each other that this is different. This isn't just a, a, a dating and see where things go and I'm still going to keep my options open and you're going to keep your options open. That's not what this is for them and you've been waiting on an answer of where you two stand. And so, yes, they do want to progress into, um, you know, giving you the attention recognition that you deserve and vice versa. They want the same kind of equality and they're in no rush. They do see that things, you know, will happen if it's meant to be and and they're hopeful that things will go very well. They have no doubt about things going wrong, so that's good. Um, the other situation here where this person wants some kind of second chance at you know, starting over, beginning again, and start healing some things between the two of you, this person has been waiting um, maybe for you to show up, Scorpio, and you didn't. And that gave them enough time to realize that if they want you um, or they want to fix things with you, they actually have to come to you and recognize that like this time they have to take their initial first initial step towards you um, to see if there's anything that you can change from this three of pentacles, adding this ace of pentacles into a four of pentacles, something that can be invested in. And wanting to start over here um, and see what you think about it, it's, it's like they, they really have been giving this a lot of thought and they're the ones going to you. They're not waiting anymore for communication from you. They're actually looking out towards all right, I want to show them that I still want that, want them, I want this to happen. So let's go ahead and clarify this Ace of Pentacles. And I did have um, Capricorn and Aries energy that came out um, previously, and the Emperor coming out. So Aries and the Five of Cups here. So um, your energy there and. This person's had some time to really look at what was lost and not interested in any other cups that might be um, presented to them because they want what they had in the past. That's what they miss. And um, they know that this new beginning or this commitment would, they would have to prove themselves to be this emperor, someone who's very strong and knows exactly what they want and someone who um, doesn't, I guess, get upset about things from the past. Like it's, it comes off as I'm not going to bring the past up again because I want to move forward, you know, but it, I really hope that they can. Some people still bring certain things up or feel a certain way, but Hopefully it will be worked on. Um, if you have been waiting on an answer from this person in a new situation where they want to invest and see where things go between the two of you, yes. And this person will make you priority in their life. Um, being the emperor, they're about doing the right thing, making things fair. Um, but there's also something about they'll want to take things slow because something in their past didn't work out. And that could be something where like their parents got divorced or, you know, all their friends were married and got divorced or some, something about relationships not working out in the past. It could also be with them personally, but um, seeing that they want to take things slow and not rush, you know, because maybe that's where things have failed for, um, you know, past relationships or people they know in past relationships. Um, that they saw disappointment and unhappiness and people just not being happy together, making wrong choices because they made a choice too fast. So let's clarify the star. We have the king of swords that comes out. So I have some Aquarius and Libra energy here, four of wands at the bottom of the deck. So 
with this person that you, we're going to go back to the person that um, you've been waiting on an answer from this person. They are going to initiate telling you, you know, they've been waiting, but now they're going to initiate telling you, yes, this is what I want. I want to see where things go. The King of Swords coming out is they want to have a very serious conversation here. This is more about law and order again. And um, they want to talk about, you know, a serious relationship, uh, the four of wands, what are you actually looking for? Because if you two are going to build something here and focus on a destination of where things are going to go, they need practicality. They need to know that, you know, you're invested where they can take you around their friends, family, you know, introduce you to, to people and not, you know, six months later be like oh yeah we're not together you know they just don't want to go through that so this person is looking for a serious relationship also they're about tradition as well they've always wished and hoped to get married to the right person if they haven't been married yet they've been waiting for the right person um so that's important to them too but this is a conversation you two can have together and see where things go some of you i do see um a same gender uh, relationship and you know it doesn't matter if you have love and you love the person you're with that's all that matters so um also if this is about you know somebody wanting a second chance with you and knowing that there are certain boundaries there and that they have to take things slow with you and um not wanting anybody else and only you because they miss what they had with you um, they know it won't be easy. There's things to heal and the king of swords, they want to talk about those things and it will come off very direct and the king of swords here, like you'll say something and they're going to say something, but you know, they're going to definitely put out there that they want a relationship, nothing else. And I want to heal things between the two of us and they want to make things fair. They want to do the right thing because you're the only one that they want to be with. And that's completely up to you, Scorpio, what you want to do with that. But um, so more Aries energy there as well. Let's go ahead and get some messages from this person. So the first thing that comes out, I wish things could be different. All right. And it came out in a 50, 50 energy. I'm getting that for those of you, because you're going through, um, different situations. Some of you are with someone that you're waiting on an answer from them. So they won't, they don't want things to be different. They want things to progress and they want to see where things go. Um, but they're going to want conversation and about, you know, certain boundaries, rules, things like that, and, and what your hopes and dreams are, you know, where you see yourself four years from now, a year from now with them. They're going to ask pretty serious questions just because they're a very practical person and they like to have structure in their life and they need, you know, they need that kind of structure. So, um, I feel you even though we are apart. So I get this person that really, um, thinks about you a lot, cares for you and, you're on their mind quite a bit and feeling like your energy around them, um, wanting to call you, wanting to text you, whatever, looking at messages from you whenever they can't talk to you, things like that. So I can't stop thinking about you, um, comes out here and it's something that, you know, is it, it, just, it comes off as a distraction for them at work as well. And they're trying not to get too caught up in the distraction because their focus is broken um, from work whenever they can't stop thinking about you, Scorpio. But um, you came closer than anyone. For some of you that may not um, take this person back or you're trying to move on as well, they just want you to know that you came closer to having their heart than anyone. Um, but there's some things you might 
feel you need to move on in a different direction. This is just, you know, how this person feels about you and what they're hiding from you is that they still care for those of you in separation where somebody wants to come back and have a chance here to heal things um, because they can't stop thinking about you. But there's also the fact that maybe um, the last time you spoke, they might have said something like, we need to let each other go or we need to just not talk anymore to each other, things like that, because this is at the bottom of the deck as an additional, but it comes off that this person does miss you. They feel you in their energy all the time. It is a distraction. Either way, whether this is the person that um, you've been waiting on an answer from them and to know where things are going to go between the two of you. You came closer than anyone. Um, I don't feel that the last card coming out is for that situation since it's different um, situ different stories that come out for your reading as well. So only take what applies and just leave the rest, of course, because this is a general reading. Um, but wanting things to be different from the person who you're no longer with and they want a second chance, they can't stop thinking about you and wanting to be with you. But it does feel that there were certain boundaries of, I never wanna see you again, or um, we need to just move on from each other. Maybe that's what you told them the last time you talked to them as well. And that's something that they hold on to, but they, they wanna try to fix things with you so expect like even them reaching out over the holidays because they're hopeful that you two can at least have a conversation about things that's up to you um and then those of you that are waiting for a decision from this person they will give you one it, it, like even around christmas the new year something like that coming up very soon so <laughs> this is what i have for you scorpio if it resonates go ahead and hit that like button i will see you in your next reading coming up have a good rest of your day bye